So, if we start from the very top, what is version control and why do we think it's a good idea? Well, we can think of version control as simply some software that is tracking the history of a single file or a directory or folder if you're in Windows speak um, and it records who made the changes, when they were made and what changes were made. So it's simply about recording the, the differences over time of the code and the files that you're working with. You may ask, why should I use version control? Well, we think there are lots of reasons. One of the most simple is that in our careers, we've probably all lost um, files. We've probably all lost information that we, we, were, that we hadn't saved or hadn't backed up, and we've lost track of it. So version control gives you a way of having a backup of your code and potentially storing that off-site as well. It allows you to keep track of different versions. Um, so we can think of versions in time, so how your code evolves over time, and we can think of it in terms of different branches, so different routes that you might take in parallel. Um, so version control can keep all of those things for you. It's a really good way of allowing you to share code with other people. And then that moves on to the idea that you can co-develop with other authors. So we really recommend version control systems as a way to collaborate with other people. So if we drill down a bit, if we think about backup and version history, knowing that you've got that gives you the confidence to be able to test ideas, to develop new things in the knowledge that you can roll back to any point in time into the history of your code base. So one day you might come along and say, well, I think I've done this wrong or I think I need to take a different approach. You know that you've got persistent versions that are committed to your history that you can get to at any point. And version control systems make it really easy to record the changes that you make along the way. And what's more, if you have multiple versions, so if you have parallel branches where different things have been developed, version control systems have a whole heap of tools that allow you to resolve any conflicts when you want to merge those different things together. We also mentioned sharing code. And in fact, publishing code is another aspect of this. So collaboration these days often requires us to be able to share code efficiently with other people. Um, Git and GitHub are two tools that make that really easy. The, in this day and age, when we are writing funding proposals or maybe writing um, publications for, journal, for journals, um, funders and institutions often require us to be able to publish our code. Um, and ver version control systems make all this stuff really easy. They allow us to branch, they allow us to merge different branches together, different changes together, and they allow us to document and commit our changes along the way. Um, and one really key aspect of this is that you can create fixed versions and you can tag them and, and call them releases. So you'll have worked with different software along the way. Software typically has some kind of release tag which has information about what's been changed between versions and um, version control systems make that really easy. So here's just a picture of, of how we can think about how version control systems can help us. So if we start at the top here, we have some repository and, and let's pretend over on the left hand side, um, this is Poppy developer A, um, who is working on a new feature of a website that we've got together. And on the right hand side, we have Richard developer B, who is, is fixing a bug. So we could imagine that, that over on the left hand side here, Poppy's just wanting to add a new page to the website and maybe some new images. Um, so she can take her own branch and she can develop these things along the way. And you can see each of these blue dots. We can think of those as a, as a, a commit point, a point in history that you could return to if you need to. On the right hand side, um, Richard's found there was a few typos on, on some of the pages. So he's gone in and just edited some files that already exist. And the key thing about using tools like Git is that when it comes to the point where you need to bring this work together and you need to potentially um, merge these things together, there are a whole heap of 
of nice features that make that really easy to do. And really importantly, you can make sure that the history that's gone on in both of these different branches can all be brought together in a way that makes sense, in a way that's easy for, for you and other people to be able to go back to and understand.